we're looking at sub examples on direct variation example 2 if y varies as the square root of m and y is equal to 9 when m is equal to 9 find y when m is equal to 1 or number 7 over 9 if y varies as the square root of m varies directly directly if y varies directly as the square root of m and y is equal to 9 when m is equal to 9 find y when m is equal to 1 over 7 over 9 so we'll start by writing our symbols out y varies directly as the square root of m that we can have y as equals to k roots m we are told that if y is equals to 9 when y is 9 that m is equal to 9 so we'll simply fix our values here y will be 9 here as equals to k roots 9 So that we can have that k square root of 9 here is 3. We are arranging in k times 3 is equal to 9. So k will simply be equal to 9 over 3, which will give me 3. So that the relationship between y and m can be written as y and root m rather is equal to 3 since k is equal to 3 here yeah? roots m so having done that we are told to find y when m is equal to 1 over 7 over 9 but this is the relationship so we can write that y is equal to 3 for the second question, find y when m is equal to 1 over 7 over 9. So this is the relationship between y and m here. So simply have that for the second question, y is equal to 3 roots m is 1 over 7 over 9. What is 1 over 7 over 9? 1 over 7 over 9 is simply 1 over 7 over 9 9 times 1 is 9 plus 7 that is 16 so I have this as root 16 over 9 16 over 9 it's important for us to extend our roots since the roots are affecting both the numerator and the denominator so I have y is equal to square root of 16 is 4 and square root of 9 is 3 so y is equal to 4 by 3 so we can see when m is equal to 1 over 7 over 9 y is equal to 4 over 3 so that's the solution to that question